Welcome to ODT Cricket Chat. Um, I've had a bit of stick from Otago Cricket over the last few months about the ODT just being a rugby-only paper. So we've taken that uh, advice and criticism on board from Ross Dykes and Co. And we're going to talk about cricket over the next few weeks, especially with the Otago Bolts going as well as they are. I think they've gone, we'll talk to the boys in a minute, 12, 15 straight games. We haven't lost a game of 2020 forever, apart from one game in India. We'll talk about that shortly. So tonight I've got with me Vaughan Johnson, the coach of the Otago Bolts. And I've got Craig Cumming. Well, we're not sure what Craig Cumming does at the target cricket, but we'll ask him that shortly. But, Veg, we'll start with you, mate. Thanks for coming in. Cheers, Paul. Now, um, look, I was away when the whole India thing was going on. So that was obviously reasonably successful, but just fell up that last turn. A bit of a shame for you. Oh, huge. It was uh, a real highlight, I think, of the players' careers. Certainly my coaching career that month in India. We won five out of the six games uh, in, in India, and I think, in terms of falling at the last hurdle, it was more really it didn't go for us. I mean, so you, so you, you won the, the, you won all you, you lost one game, didn't you? We won all three qualifying matches yep. to get to the main draw. Yep. Won our first two matches in the main draw, and slipped up against Rajasthan in the last uh, last game, which meant that it came down to run rate, and of course Mumbai, being Mumbai, managed to they get with that. Had a big day against against the Perth side, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, weak lot. Online. Perth were very weak. So okay, so you, you get the boys back to New Zealand. You've had two games. You've had a you've had a four day game. Yep. And you drew with Wellington. Yeah, we had a um, a good game in terms of uh, the whole four days. We performed pretty well. It was a very flat deck. It was a bit benign to get a result, but um, we made sure we had enough not to lose, and then went down to Christchurch last weekend and, and beat Canterbury. So in so the twenty twenties. Well, I watched that game. I watched the Canterbury game, and I thought, you know, when the boys they, they were cruising along at the start, and and, and Derek De Border came in and batted pretty well, and you got through, and then all of a sudden you lost five wickets to bugger all. I thought one hundred and sixty, mm. not good enough. Were you worried? One hundred and sixty. Uh, I thought 160? it was pretty short, to be honest. Did you? Yeah, I On thought we were pretty short. Yeah, it was a very good cricket wicket. It was had a bit of pace in it, and you could actually use the pace to score your runs. And I thought the thirty we got off the last five wasn't enough. Right. Uh, so we did. We had to. We got some work to do there, but uh, managed to bowl and, and field pretty well, and it ended up being enough. So that was good. All right, mate. We'll come back to that. Craig, we'll bring you in. So look, you know, I was casting aspersions. You don't, you don't do any. You used to work for Allied Press, and you've just gone. And what do you actually do at Otago Cricket? Well, I've got. I've got us on TV here, Paul. So, yeah, good uh, thing. So that's part of the uh, the big tick in the box there. So I can sort of finish up, but. I think the official role is commercial manager. Uh, it's How's that going? Yeah, it's good, really good. Um, so uh, started just as these guys went to India, uh, which is a pretty good time uh, to start when you're looking to promote and sell the vaults. But, uh, you know, we're, we're working hard and, and trying to come up with a few new initiatives to try and generate new revenue. But I see, um, like going by this really awful shirt you've got on, this SBS shirt, the Jacko Days obviously signed up, SBS, to be the... Are they the naming rights sponsor? Yeah, well, the, the second year. The, right, yeah, they so, were there last year as well? Uh, yeah, they were. So, uh, so you, didn't, you didn't get any commission for this? You just got a, no, we've just, just got a free shirt. We've just got a free shirt. Right. So that's uh, so the SBS Bank Otago Volts is the official name, Paul. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, second year they've actually got a great relationship with provincial teams in sport because they also sponsor Canterbury Rugby. Yeah. Uh, and they also sponsor Tasman, who we know. Especially they can sponsor the Highlanders. Well, they? maybe they would. So that's three teams they sponsor. They right. all won their competition. So right. I think SBS Bank. Well, it's a good mix for them, being the fact they started in Southland, and it's an Otago Southland team, even though we call it Otago. Yeah. Is, any, is there any, ch any chance of putting Southland in the name, being an old Southland man like myself? A couple of boys down from up, and they're in the team from Southland. So like who's, in, who's in from the Southland? Jacob Duffy. Oh, he's a Southland boy. Brother Ryan's in the squad. Yep. So there's a little bit of involvement there. From That's on a track suit. Is it hard, though? I mean, for the set, like... For the, say for the Otago country side and for the Southland side, is it hard to get, for them to get guys yeah, in? It is, Paul, because it's a lot harder now to be identified down there. Yep. I mean, the playing stock is a lot smaller than it used to be. Uh, but, you know, there's two or three kids down there that in, in four or five years' time could easily play for, for, for Otago. So, right. you know, it's, it's healthy down there. The, yep. the, 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 the it's not a bad wee club comp. I read about it in the paper most yeah, Mondays. Yeah, and it's competitive. So yep. I think there's two or three down there that could show their way. Because yeah. I look, Craig, I mean, you'll know about this, but I looked at, like, Otago Country are playing in town at the moment. I presume that's to get them ready for their Hawke Cup series, is it? Yeah, yeah normally now. normally their club competition starts well, I see they got absolutely... Hammered by somebody last week. Yeah, I think I think cricket's got a little bit of a concern when it comes yep. to the club sport pool, and it's not just Otago country. I think even the clubs in town are uh, struggling. A are bit. Struggling. So a big part of Otago cricket and Dunedin cricket need to look at the future. Um, you know, I think three, two years ago, the Otago boys first eleven. Apparently, only three of them continued to play after they left school, right. and that was your premier side in Dunedin. So. Uh, some, and like all clubs, you know, yep. it's not just cricket, but we need to get pretty aggressive and work and out. Do what some we're work doing. on it. Well, mate, let's. I just want to just touch on a couple of things I noticed. I like um, Mark Craig coming of age finally. Yeah. I mean, he's been around your scene. Yeah. He scored 80, 80 up in Wellington. Wellington. Oh, you would have got eighty up there though. 
Well, I got a, must have been a good deck if I'd have got it. Was a good deck. So the. Um, but he's obviously, but he came in because Beardy's out at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, he's got so, it. But he obviously, bowled, he obviously bowled well Look, the other night. Mark Craig has the talent to play for New Zealand. He's there that go. good? It, well, skill-wise he is. Yep. He's got a little thing, a few things to sort out in terms of his fitness. He's had a, he got uh, sick and had a, a virus earlier on in his career, which is still affecting him. Yep. He gets very tired and, and, and sort of run down and his immune system's very low. Yeah. But he's, uh, he's a kid that's, that's really put his hand up this year, and I think he's got the skill base. He bats, he bowls, he grabs in the slips, so he's, he's a multi-skilled cricketer. Okay. And, I, and I think, you know, with a pinch of luck, you might even see him play in that warm-up game against the West Indies. Right, you heard it here first. So let's talk about, let's talk about the, the marketable guys in the team right now. I don't want to pick them out, but you've got big coup to sign Jesse Ryder. Jesse Ryder is going to be good for us, is he? Obviously he will be. He'll be huge for us. And if people concentrate on Jesse as the cricketer... Yep. And leave him alone as the as what's gone on in the past. Yeah. You'll see that the the that Jesse will continue to enjoy in the environment that he's in at the moment. He'll be an icon of Otago cricket. Yeah. I'm absolutely certain of that because he's he's happy here, he's chilled out here, um, and as you know, he's a fine player. So as long as the media are, are um, you know they're sensible about how they deal with him and not bring up the past all the time, then then I think, I think you'll see yeah. we'll see a different Jesse Ryder. I don't think I'll have him to the end of the season. There you go. Right. Yeah. So from a marketing point of view, mate, do we need to do more? Do you guys need to do more with um, Jesse as as the as the name here? Uh, yes and no. It's hard because you don't want to put too much on Jesse. Yep. You don't want to throw him out. Uh, and ask him to do media commitments all the time because it's not who he is. Um, one thing I can tell you about Jesse, I was here with him uh, when these guys are away. He moved when he came down and looked for apartments. He was here for two days and he fell in love with Dunedin. He, right. he really loved the place. He loved everything that was about the place and it's nice and small. Um, and now he can just go on and play his cricket. He's got a good place. He's he enjoying himself. He can get away. Um, and if he does that, um, and we have him here long enough, and I agree with Vaughan, if we, if we have him here long enough, he'll get really happy in his cricket. When he goes and plays for New Zealand, he'll be successful. But right. the challenge is let's not get him in there too early because he's got to prove it. Okay, so, look, so you've got Baz back in town. And he was supposed to be coming back, so Baz McCullum's come back from, from, from a well, it's pretty disastrous tour of Bangladesh. We won't go into that. Yeah. But, um, but he was going to play some cricket, but... Mate, his back's no good. No, it's not great at the moment. He's got a couple of discs that are going the wrong way to where they should be. Um, so he was originally going to play these two one-day games for us this coming weekend, but he can't do that. He'll be okay, but he's got to be managed. And um, he's a huge loss in terms of not being available for us because yeah. he is, I believe, the world's best captain. And I think uh, all this crap that he's... This that he come can't, out. Well, mate... But it always comes out, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but they've got to pull get... their heads in, mate. Right. They've got short memories, some of these people. Yeah. He is the world's best cricket captain, tactically. And his skill levels uh, are as good as anybody else in the world. Well, the thing about him, and you agree with me, Craig, at least he's bloody well prepared to try something on the cricket field. He's prepared to make a change. He doesn't right. let the game just drift along. And Veg knows him better than anyone. The preparation and the organisation that he does behind the scenes... Um, his, his plans aren't just on the spot. He does. Yeah. A, he can have a lot of work, and you don't see that, Vaughan. I think that, uh, and the way he inspires the guys. I mean, he led uh, the guys in India, um, and I no doubt they went up another level. Was due to to because of Baz, Brendan's right? yeah, yeah, mostly it was probably. Yeah, yeah. he's just a, as I say, he's a thorough, thorough individual, and he's he's a champion. So back to that, or the marketing potential with Baz, but even though that'll that'll hurt you, but the fact he's not going to play. Yeah, I suppose you sort of bank on him not being here a lot of the time, Paul. But you know we've got a, you look at the current squad, ten or twelve, I think it is current or former uh, Black, Black Caps. Caps. You know, once upon a time you'll remember we probably had one, um, and maybe even none. So um, from that point of view, we we have the guys out at the schools and the kids. They recognise more than one player, and they're excited about having them out there. So we need to do more of that, and hopefully we get on Friday night and Saturday night huge kids because we're under lights. Okay, let's talk about this then. So we've got two games this weekend. So, so um, Veg, who are we playing for? A start? Canterbury Friday night. So Canterbury, this was a return match from last yeah, week. Yeah, which we need to get up again. And, when? and Northern Districts on Saturday. So night. what time? Are these, Craig, what time are these games start? Uh, Seven fifteen kickoff down yep. at Uni Oval under lights. So tomorrow night, Paul, we're going to be uh, trialling the lights. So yeah. They've been bought in, so 7.15, if you want to get uh, tickets, go on to the Targa Cricket website, the Early yeah. Bird Special, I think they're $18, yeah. uh, so do that, yeah, there's the marketing side of things yeah. done. So, how many tickets have you sold so far? Uh, good question, we've got lots of ground memberships, which are through which the roof. Which is good, so my question is, I mean, from your point of view, from a marketing point of view, how many people do we need to come along on Friday, so a few of you guys to say... Yeah, that's not bad. We've got a good, reasonable crowd. Uh, I'd like to see. Weather all bloody. It'll be weather bloody. Depends, oh, yeah, it will be, and that's the hardest thing. And we're under. Friday's lights. not bad though. Looking better. Yeah. 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 The, the fact is, two games in a row. We've not. We've never had that before. But 
Um, I, I would be disappointed if we didn't have close to 2,000 on both nights, Paul. Well, I think you're not going to get a better team no, to watch. No, well, that's right. And you've got, you've got all these players. You've got Jesse Wright of playing in form. And, the, and, they, and let's be honest, we're going better than anybody. How many games have we won straight against New Zealand teams? Uh, 11, 12, 13. 13 games. So we mm. want to be 15 at the end of this. Can I correct it and say 11? You could. Because you'll probably know, and I don't. It's 11. It's 11 yeah. so far against New Zealand. Teams. Against, they lost the first one 10, on the competition. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, no, it's 12, actually. Okay, so look, just I've got to wind up. Craig, just quickly 11. talk to me about the top fighting you two. Quickly wind up. Let me Tell me about the West Indies. When are the West Indies, West Indies here, and what are we doing about that? Uh, 3rd of uh, December, kick-off, Tuesday. So it's a test match? Test match here. Starts on the Tuesday. Start on the Tuesday, 3rd of December. Obviously, five days goes through to the Saturday, and if I do my maths, that's to the 7th, Paul. Yep. Am I right? Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, great, yeah, nice game, yeah. Yeah, yeah, great, it's all very new, um, and uh, yeah, we're about to sort of focus on that next week. We've got the, the test dinner, the great, the annual test dinner that's held that's by Otago well. Cricket. That's great, that's been a, a base And uh, I think it's going to be, we always honour a, a former Otago great. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not me Vaughan. this year. This it's not Vaughan. It's not me. He's not far. It's not you. But I tell you, I think everyone in Dunedin, when they hear who it's going to be, because we'll announce that next week, right. uh, will be very excited because he's a very popular figure and a very funny man. Okay. Well, look, guys, we've got to wrap it up. So just um, just on what Craig was talking about, let's get along to the cricket on Friday and Saturday night. I don't think I'll be there on Friday night. I've got a function on. But I'll definitely be there on Saturday. We will win both those games in a canter, and we'll be, 15, no, we'll be 13 straight. He's and right. we will talk to you again next week with a couple of the players.